It has been a electricity issue in Kibera for a couple of months ago. The residents had cried for a long time for the Kenya Power and Lighting to bring power down in the slum. This led to riot and the Kenya Power and Lighting responded quickly to the matter, hence creating more transformers that passes power into the slum and also putting up the adapter light for security purposes. Today, the issue is different. Many residents in Kibera had to wake up very early for them to be able to get water. According to them, they say it was power rationing, but now that they have power, it is something else. Sidna Jafar, who lives in Kibera, Kambimuru, she says she needs to wake up very early for her to get water that can sustain her for the course of the week, more especially during this time that they are fasting Islam Holy Ramadan. As a Muslim, I wake up at around 4 a.m. This is the time that we have our food. Then after eating, it forces me to go out and look for water. The government has not assisted us in any way, but we wish that it will focus on the lives of the Kibera residents. We live in Kibera, but it is not our choice. The life here is so hard and full of challenges, like shortage of water, water ditches and also lack of latrines and this makes the area full of garbage. Our wish toward the government is that they put more water tanks just the same way the Kenya Power and Lighting did by putting up their double lights. From Sitna and other resident views, they feel it could be better if the government could distribute more water tanks the same way the Kenya Power and Lighting did with the adapter light for them to be able to get water easily. Eric Ocheno, who has been doing water delivery around Kibera, he feels that the water company needs to do something on water shortage. According to him, this is the only way for him to earn a living. But if the case continues, his work becomes hard, since he has to go a long distance for him to get water for his customers. I make sure that I have woken up early and get to work. The situation is sometimes tough, since I have to go a long distance for me to get water for my customers. On normal days, we sell a container of water worth 10 shillings. But during the sunny season like this, there's no water, and this forces us to go about some kilometers so that we can be able to get water. As water suppliers, we are asking for the government to open somewhere for us so that we can be able to get water easily for our customers. tank na at the same time, we talked to Jackson, water salesman in Kibira Kianda, and from his opinion, he says the government need to focus on the slum people and also accord them their equal rights. I'm Jackson I'm James. Where there is water, we sell a container at 3 shillings and a bucket at 2 shillings. But at times, there is a shortage of water. Many hike the bill up to 10 shillings, but it all depends on the relation you have with your customers. But sometimes, you have to be able to do it on your own to be able to make your life stable. The government needs to rectify the economic factors. This is because the population is increasing day by day and the government with the city council needs to focus on the present projects. <laughs> Join me as I take you through the part two of the story.
Wilson. 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 Wilson.